Thank you to Skillshare for supporting this episode of Animal Wonders. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie and this is Tally, the Argentine black and white tegu. Tally just joined us a couple weeks ago and we're still getting to know each other, but she is an absolute just a joy. Tally's previous owner could no longer care for her and he asked if we could take her in and give her her final lifelong home. She is just using her tongue to discover everything and she's decided she wants to go back inside and go get cozy. What do you think? It's evening right now, so she would be getting ready to go to sleep. And what she likes to do to prepare for bed is she will go underneath in her little like cave den area and she will just dig and dig and dig and burrow down and then turn into a little circle and curl up and fall asleep. A lot of Argentine black and white tegus can have kind of a mellow personality once they get older and, and Tally's she has that mellowness to her, but she has a really discerning eye and she wants to make sure that what she is experiencing is something that she's enjoying and if she doesn't enjoy it, she will leave. I'm really interested in watching Tally's behavior because she has really distinct ways of showing if she's enjoying something or not. One of the ways that she shows us she's not enjoying what's happening is she will raise her back up and then quickly turn away from whatever's happening. Tally doesn't do this, but many times tegus will use their tail to really make a point that they're not enjoying something and they will do a tail whip. Thankfully, Tally has never had to resort to that. As soon as she's moving away from something, we know that she's not enjoying it and we back off and, and we stop whatever is happening around her. One of the ways that we know that Tally is enjoying something is if she stays and she will, <laughs> uh, if you're rubbing like right here on her face, she will rapidly tongue flick and kind of move into it. Now she's not doing like a, a body arch or a tail up or anything like that. She is like, leading into it and she's like, yes, this is something that I like. Now it's really important that I am able to watch Tally's behavior and how, how she responds to me so that I can form a really good trust bond with her because I want her to be an amazing ambassador for her species. There are so many people that are reticent to interact or, or get close to reptiles and that's totally respectable. Uh, you don't have to engage with anything that you don't feel comfortable with, but one of my passions in life is to try and open people's um, idea of what's acceptable in animals and, and what is um, a, a curiosity and, and get them wanting to know more. I, wa I want them to wonder. And having a, a fairly large lizard covered in scales presented in front of them for them to interact with it's such an opportunity to kind of break some of those stereotypes that they might hold and discover that, wow, this reptile that I thought was scary or intimidating is actually really gentle and curious and, and full of personality. And again, it gets them wondering, wow, I wonder what there is more to learn. So for that educational experience and opportunities to interact with people, I was very excited to be able to welcome Tally to Animal Wonders, but it wasn't as easy as just saying, yes, bring her in. We had to first make sure that we could offer her a good home. And we had already had plans to build this large space. And it was, it was just perfect timing that we had the space available and she needed a safe space to go to. Now this enclosure is eight foot by four foot by four foot and a couple of the really important aspects of it is it has extremely high heat spots so she can climb up this ramp and she can bask. It gets to 130 degrees um, at the hottest point and then it gradually um, goes down to 110 and then 100 degrees and then over here it's about 83 degrees on the cool side where her water is and then at night it drops down to about 75 
25 ambient temperature in here. She also has a UVB light right next to her heat basking area that gets just to the exact right um, UV index for Argentine black and white tegus. We also added in a full spectrum LED light so that we could grow some natural plants in here. Now another really important part of the care for Argentine black and white tegus is having a deep substrate with lots of humidity. This space is at about 80% humidity, and this soil is it's about nine inches right now, and I'm going to bring it up to about 12 inches here uh, as, as time goes on. I wanna see how, where she wants to dig and uh, what kind of substrate she enjoys digging in. For now, we have a mixture of soil and sphagnum moss and, um, some oak leaves that we have in here and some cypress mulch all mixed together and it creates a nice firm but like uh, loose enough that she can really dig down into it. It also holds humidity really well and I've planted some clover in there which has been really fun. These little sprouts are nice and of course we have lots of what I call cleanup crew and many herpetologists call it cleanup crew as well. They are detritivores so we've got some worms and some isopods and then we also have some springtails in there. Um, these little critters that like to eat mold. So as this enclosure matures and goes through through its natural bioactive cycles, those critters are really gonna play a huge part in the health of this little ecosystem. And of course, Tally is going to be doing her part by digging things up and aerating the soil and then pooping sometimes too. And uh, I'm fully expecting her to rip apart a lot, of, a lot of the plants. Totally fine that she does that. Um, we'll just replant and, and keep going. In the wild, Argentine black and white tegus have a pretty varied diet. They tend to eat fruit, insects, and small vertebrates like birds and small rodents. Tally's absolute favorite thing to eat is actually something called reptilinks. Reptilinks look kind of like a little sausage and they include a wide variety of food items all packed into one little casing and she just absolutely loves them. The wonderful thing about these is that they include all of the nutrients you would need in one easy and non-messy meal. While Tally's previous owner was extremely dedicated to her well-being, Tally does come in with some health issues. Her original owner, who had her for the first few years of her life, did not provide her the proper environment. Because of this, she did develop the beginning signs of metabolic bone disease. Thankfully, when her new owner took over on her care, he was able to get her back on the right track. Tally's overall health looks pretty amazing considering the rough start she had. The main problem she has right now is several of her toes are slightly deformed and she does have challenges shedding off the very tips of her toes. As I get to know Tally better and we form a stronger relationship, I'm going to help get some of that shed off of her toes and the tip of her tail. The most concerning health issue that Tally comes with is this wound that she has on her back. It was reported that Tally had a rock fall on her and it caused the initial injury. However, our veterinarian, Dr. Card, doesn't like the looks of it and how it's healing, so we're going to send in some samples to the lab to get a better idea of what we're dealing with. And once we know exactly what it is, we'll work on getting her the proper treatment so that she can be as healthy as possible. I hope you're as excited as I am about welcoming Tally the Tegu to Animal Wonders, and I'm excited to share more about her as we get to know each other a little bit better. Side note, I've always enjoyed dabbling in music, and Tally's beautiful mosaic of black and white scales reminds me so much of the swirling melody woven by the keys of a piano. My son has recently been curious about the piano, and we've been sharing some wonderful moments learning and playing together. I found this class on Skillshare called Piano Basics, Learn Notes, Scales, and Chords, taught by Elijah Fox Peck. It starts at the very beginning and quickly covers the basics of piano in a clear and organized way. Even though I've dabbled for most of my life, I never took lessons, so I didn't know what made a chord or what the circle of fifths was. Elijah's class was a perfect place for my son to get to know the piano and for me to expand my knowledge. So thanks to Tally's gorgeous scales and Skillshare, I'm inspired to continue my journey on the piano.
If you'd like to learn too, or for a refresher course, check out this class on Skillshare to help you get started. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description or our code Animal Wonders Montana will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. As always, thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. If you would like more Animal Wonders things, we're also on Instagram. We're pretty active over there and uh, Facebook as well. So you can, if you want more Animal Wonders, you can check those things out. And if you would like to support us monthly with a donation, you can head on over to patreon.com slash animal wonders and you can check out some of the content that we have over there. It's a big support. Your, your support goes directly to the animals and uh, um, it's, it's incredibly appreciated. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Bye.